Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects Quick Tip Plugin Tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to detect a parameter change inside of your plugin UI. What this means is whenever you basically change an element, say for this slider if I adjust the value, it's going to immediately go to my breakpoint I've set here inside of my parameter changed method. What this allows you to do is of course not only detect when things are changed but take those changes and do other things inside of your plugin. So we're going to be really quickly learning how to apply apply this sort of watch ability to any of your UI elements using a flag. Before we get started, just want to remind you, down below hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel, and down in the description you can check out the GitHub link for more code like this video, as well as follow us on Instagram. And you can also join us on the Discord where we have good discussions about scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. Come join it, get your questions answered, and answer other people's questions. So it's actually really simple to what it's called supervise your parameters. All we need to do is find the where we define everything inside the param setup. So inside of here we have our param setup where we create our slider here, just says slider, and then we also have our button that says reset. And all we need to do is apply this flag called pf param flag underscore supervise. If you hover over or peek the definition of any of your UI elements, you're going to see inside of the arguments, there's one called flags. The second to last argument is where we can input flags that tell things about the, this particular element. And if you look at other elements like a checkbox, for example, you can put flags for that. You can put flags for almost anything inside of your UI. So normally this might be set to null or zero, but like I said, what we can do is type in pf underscore param flags and this will allow us to see all of the other flags that we can select. Things like that it cannot be keyframed, like cannot time vary, collapse twirly, and if we look down here we have our supervise which means we're going to supervise or look for changes. Now once we've added the supervise, how do we know where to sort of look when it's going to be changed? If we go down to our effect main, this is where it's going to occur. Normally in here you have things like about calls, global setups, render calls, things that will normally change your image or get your uh, plugin set up. We can also have one called pf underscore command user changed param. And this is basically another command similar to render or the setups. And it's just basically when the supervise goes off. So if we applied that supervise tag here to our slider, if we change our slider at any point, it's going to throw into effect main this pf underscore command underscore user changed param. And what we're gonna do in that case is run whatever we want. If this were JavaScript, I would just create an alert and say like hello or something and basically show you that whenever you change the parameter, it goes into here. But what I did instead is created a function called param changed. And all that does is just sets a variable called test equal to 100. This doesn't mean anything, it's just some code so that we can get into here and set a breakpoint. So you can set a breakpoint by clicking over here on the left side. And what a breakpoint will do is when you get to that point in the code, or if you get to that point in the code, it will trigger it and open up Visual Studio to show you you're there. So essentially I'm gonna use that to demonstrate that when I change the parameter, whether it's the button or the slider, it's going to then go into my param changed function. And in your case, if you have a more complex plugin, you could go in and change some values or do whatever you want when they change the parameter. So if I go ahead and apply my plugin and I change the slider, it's going to immediately go in here to my breakpoint and let me know that the parameter has been changed. And to continue through, just hit continue to go past the breakpoint. And you can then go on to test other elements like my button, which I also hit supervise on. So then I'm gonna also go into param changed. But that's actually gonna do it for this quick tip tutorial. I just wanted to show you this super quick tip about how to set up supervision and parameter changes inside of After Effects plugins. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe down below and the bell icon to be notified of when new videos are coming out twice weekly on the channel, and down in the description you can follow us on GitHub and Instagram to get updates on code and when videos are released. And of course, follow us on the Discord server where if you have any more plugin questions you can come and ask those, or get help with other things like extensions, scripting, and expressions. Thanks again for watching everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.